<sighs> Here's what we have, ladies and gentlemen. If we have this trapezoid, all right, and what I want to forget about this is, so we have this trapezoid. And at this trapezoid, Zach, please turn that back down. OK. Just face it down, because I just want you looking up here. So if we have this trapezoid, and I find the mid, if I find the midpoint of both of my two sides, right? Now we can see that AF and, D, um, AF and CD are both parallel lines, correct? And if I determine the midpoint, that means I break both of those sides in half. And then I draw a line that is, again, parallel to both those lines. Then I can be able to determine the distance of this line. Okay? The way that I determine the distance of this line goes like this. The length of BF or BE is equal to 1 half AF plus CD. Okay, So if you have a line that is parallel to your other two sides of your trapezoid and it is in the middle, then if you add the lengths of your, of your two bases, if you add the lengths of your two bases and multiply it by 1 half or divide it by 2, whatever you think about it, then you will have the distance of the mid-segment. OK? Absolutely. If you have a line that is parallel to your two bases and it is in the middle between your two legs, right? It's in the midpoint of your two legs. Then to find the distance of that, you add the sum of the lengths of your two bases and then multiply it by 1 half and you'll get the length of your mid-segment. I'll give you guys an example in just a second. 